Indo-Pacific region has been a flashpoint for almost two decades. And the biggest aggressor is China. The People's Liberation Army Navy repeatedly bullies other navies in the region. Collisions with warships from the Philippines is a common occurrence. Chinese ships also regularly harass boats from Taiwan. The Chinese Communist Party also deploys its air power over the Indo-Pacific. Chinese jets often perform dangerous maneuvers around aircraft from other nations. Chinese bombers and aircrafts are known for violating the airspace of Indo-Pacific countries. And as Beijing continues to be the bully, nations are teaming up to form a united front. On the 12th of July, the residents of Darwin, the capital of Australia's Northern Territory, were woken up rather rudely. 140 jets landed at the Royal Australian Air Force's Darwin and Tyndall Air Bases. They are there for an exercise called Pitch Black. This exercise is held every two years in Australia. The 2024 Pitch Black edition will be the largest in its 43-year history. 20 nations are taking part in the air drills. Over 140 aircraft will make Darwin their home for three weeks. And more than 4,400 personnel will participate. Exercise Pitch Black is an initiative by the Australian government. The objective is to strengthen international engagement and cooperation among Australia's allies. While also enhancing the aerial and maritime capabilities of friendly nations in the Indo-Pacific. This year, air forces from across the globe have flown to Australia. For the first time ever, a large NATO member air force team is flying down under. Fighter jets from France, Spain, Germany, Italy, the United Kingdom, Canada and the United States are taking part. The biggest deployment is from Asia. Leading it is India, followed by Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, South Korea, Japan and Brunei. And from Oceania are New Zealand, Fiji, Papua New Guinea and the hosts, Australia. With 20 countries participating, the skies over Darwin are perpetually buzzing. Fighter jets can be seen performing low-level flights over beaches. Sonic booms and high-speed flypasts are a common sight. A wide range of fighter aircraft are taking part. These include Su-30 MKIs from India, the French Rafales, Thailand's Gripens, F-35 Lightnings from Australia and Italy, F-22 Raptors from the United States, F-18 Hornets from Australia and Malaysia, F-15 Eagles from South Korea and Singapore, Eurofighter Typhoons from Germany, Spain and the United Kingdom, and F-16 Falcons from Indonesia and Singapore. From all the participating air forces, Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, Spain and Italy are making their debut at Exercise Pitch Black. Not only is Italy participating for the first time, but they have also deployed their aircraft carrier for the drills making it the first time that a carrier battle group is being utilized in exercise pitch black. Yes, this is the first time for the Navy, the carrier strike group of the Navy to participate in pitch black 2024. It's very important because it's 20 countries participating. 140 assets that will do this exercise which is very important in very large areas and also with very interesting polygons. 
This is the very first time and it, has, it is a great opportunity to train along with our partners and allies in this, uh, in this area of, uh, of the globe. So we are trying to develop new partnership to train with our uh, like-minded uh, partners and uh, here we find a lot of opportunities. And it wasn't just the Italians who were enjoying their experience. First time attendees Papua New Guinea also appreciated the invite. We, we're looking at becoming an Air Force uh, and so as a flying in PNG is, is a must. Um, most of this Hardly any roads into uh, the majority of the population, 80% of the population uh, live in rural areas. And so the only way you can get access to them is through flying. And so it's uh, not a nice to have, but it's a must have, um, having an Air Force. Pilots from the Royal Australian Air Force highlighted how the exercise has given them great exposure to the combat tactics of their allies. Hey, we absolutely love flying in the territory. The weather is always fantastic during the dry season and the airspace is massive. It's a fantastic opportunity to work with so many different partner nations, see other aircraft that we haven't seen up close before and we really enjoy working with the Darwin locals as well. It's been great to explain what the Super Hornet does to them. It's great to show the capabilities of the jet with the uh, recent Mindel fly past and it's just uh, fantastic to be here. As Australia and allies practiced dogfights and air raid missions in the Indo-Pacific, Taiwan took some inspiration. The island also launched large-scale war games involving tanks, troops and fighter jets. They were aimed at defending Taiwan from China. Over two dozen fighter jets flew sorties over Taiwan's skies. They were loaded with live ammunition, including anti-ship missiles. Hundreds of tanks and armored vehicles, along with troops, patrolled residential streets. Taiwan's president, Lai ching te personally inspected the war games. The message was clear. China would not be allowed to be the bully of the Indo-Pacific. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 network initiative.